All right, so this is a quick overview of uh, creating a Google Cloud account and then being able to upload your courses and share those. A lot of people would ask, well, why do I want to do that? Uh, one is you may have courses like I have here. So I have some published courses. And then what I want to do is figure out, well, how do I share these courses with my users? Or maybe I want to put them on a portfolio site or something like that. So I want to put the courses on a media server. I want to be able to generate a link. And Google Cloud is a great way to do that. So you'll need to create a Google Cloud account. And then once you create that, you should see something similar to this. You're going to be in a some sort of uh, dashboard uh, like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a bucket for us to put our content in there. So you're in your Google Cloud platform. Just go ahead and click on this hamburger menu and then just go down here to cloud storage and then go to the browser for that. So now this is the browser for your cloud storage. We don't have anything in here. So the first thing we want to do is create a project. That's kind of where you're going to put stuff, right? So we'll just create a project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this demo course project, right? So I've got my demo course project. If you don't know anything about Google Cloud, that's okay. This is the basics of it. You've always got this learn tab and then you can always do quick start uh, and they can walk you through some of the process. But basically the bucket is like a folder. Now the uh, bucket, it's going to hold everything. Uh, and it has to have a unique name. So we're just going to go ahead and create a bucket. And uh, it's telling you, you know, how you can name it. I'm just going to call it, um, we'll call it portfolio uh, demo 02 22. And hopefully that's not taken. Um, and you can see you've got some other options in here, right? Choose where you want to store it standard storage, public access, right? We need to think about uh, how people are going to access uh, this account, but we're going to go ahead and just hit create first. So we have a bucket now. And now at this point, I can put things in there. So there's my the name of my bucket. You can see I can upload files, folders, I can create a folder. So maybe in here, I'm going to create my first folder. This could be my portfolio and hit create. And then I have my portfolio folder. And then I'm going to start uploading courses to that folder. So you can see you've got upload files. There's things you can do. I'm going to go ahead and upload a folder. I'm inside my Articulate projects. And I'm just going to upload the Storyline folder first. Upload that. And then it's going to upload. And you can see it's uploading. And then once it's uploaded, I'm going to be able to create a URL from that. So now we have our folder here. Now you'll notice if we look here, there's no public access yet. And we're going to fix that. If I go to Storyline Demo, I can click in here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this story.html file. And that's where I want to generate a link. And you can see it's still not public. If I try to generate a link from this here, if I click on this right here's what that link would be. I'm going to copy that link and let's go ahead and paste that into our browser. And you can see it's locked because I can't access that. So we're going to need to change access uh, to that bucket or to that folder. So let's go ahead and it's going to come to the bucket since we want this to kind of work like a website. I'm going to scroll all the way over here. And then you can see I can set some things up here. What I want to do is edit access. And then what we want to do is change the principle and the role on here. So what we want to do is add a principle. And this is going to be, I believe there's like a, an all, all users. So that's our principle, right? And then what role do we want them to have? They're basically, they can read an object. So they can read an object that's going to be that HTML file and everything else with it. Okay, so we hit save. 
and we say allow public access. So now we can see there's public to internet and there's some stuff in here. And you know, if I click in here and I go to portfolio and we go to storyline here, there's my story file right here. You can see I can copy the URL. Okay, let's paste in the URL. And now we have access to the course. So if you're uploading a storyline course, it's going to be the story.html. Let's go ahead and upload that rise course. So that's my portfolio demo here, right? I'm going to create in my side my portfolio folder. I'm going to go ahead and upload another folder and I'm going to take the rise demo, upload that. Yes. And it's all, everything's uploading. And then once it's uploaded, I should have public access because I created that at the bucket level. So let's just see what happens. This is almost complete. And there's my rise demo here. Click inside there. Rise is going to have an index.html. So I'm just going to copy that URL. Let's come back over here and paste it. And there's my course. So you can see an easy way to do that. So now if you want to take these courses, you can take these links here and you can add those links to your portfolio or however you want to do that. Or maybe you can embed your course inside. So a lot of easy things you can do. Um, what I would recommend is just going through the learning opportunities that you have here. There's all sorts of tutorials uh, you can learn about. Um, how to upload content. There's even a way to create your own website. So you have everything in here. Obviously, this gets really complicated because what you're doing is pretty simple with just putting courses online. Uh, but if you want to create web pages and all sorts of things, uh, there's a lot you can learn and make a career out of. But the main thing is this is an easy way. Just create the account, uh, add this content uh, through into a bucket that you create and then make it available publicly and then you can share your courses. And as you can see, it's pretty easy uh, to upload uh, content. And then if you want to learn more, then you can uh, go through the Google tutorials and learn more about how to do things inside the bucket. But this is an easy way to get that content available and share your courses. Hope that helps.